At Rice, I teach a course for juniors in mechanical engineering called Modeling Dynamic Systems. In this course, the students bring their knowledge from physics and calculus together and see how we can develop mathematical models of these first and second order dynamic systems. We do time domain analysis uh, and we give them a brief introduction to the theory of uh, feedback control systems. Because a lot of the students haven't had hands-on laboratory experiments prior to coming to this course, a focal point is the hands-on lab experiences with the haptic paddle. The haptic paddle is a simple one degree of freedom mechatronic device the students use to get a feel for a lot of things they learn in the lecture course. So with the haptic paddle, they learn about sensor linearization with the Hall effect sensor, uh, time domain system identification of the motor and paddle parameters, as well as getting a chance to kind of get a feel for the, their first chance with a PD control. And at the end of the course, it culminates with rendering simple haptic environments with the paddle. The experiments provide a mechanism for students to reflectively combine theoretical knowledge from the lectures with experiences in the lab. Each lab moves through the subsystems of the haptic paddle, building on top of the previous one. First, students calibrate the Hall effect sensor and determine the rotational inertia of the paddle. Then, students get an introduction to the basics of DC motors. Next, students characterize first and second order systems on both the paddle and equivalent analog circuits. Then, students perform some time domain system identification on the complete paddle system before rendering simple virtual environments and teleoperation on the head to paddle. 